There's many different things you can sew. Um, sewing can help you save money and make things really personal. I took a clothing class my sophomore year and I made four quilts and a pair of stuffed pants. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up a sewing machine, how to cut fabric, and how to sew. Um, so setting up a sewing machine, first you're going to need to thread the sewing machine. So it has instructions, so you're just going to follow those. You're going to go like this and then around. Oh, that's wrong actually. And then first you need to thread your bobbin. So you're going to push this over and then you have a foot pedal and you're going to press it until your bobbin is threaded. It's not threading. So once you have your bobbin threaded, you're going to take it and cut it, and later you're going to have to use it to put in your sewing machine. So now you're going to actually thread the sewing machine itself, and you're going to follow these little lines up here and loop it through. And then you're going to loop this right here. And then there should be a little hook right here, and you just, and then you're going to pull it through. And now your sewing machine is threaded. So to put the bobbin in, you just slide it in and then you go around this little hook thing. And you're gonna use this knob on the side to twist it and pull your bobbin thread back through. And now you are ready to sew. So first, and so now I'm going to show you how to cut fabric. So you're going to want to, first you need to pick a pattern. And I'm just going to basically show you how to line everything up and make sure you have straight edges. So you're going to want to make sure you have a piece of fabric that works for what you want. And you're just going to line it up to make sure everything is straight. You're going to use your little cutter device and you're going to hold down and and now you have a straight edge to cut or to sew with. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how to um, line up your material. So there's this little compartment in your sewing machine that you can store things in and I store pins in mine. Um, so, I actually have these two pieces from a quilt I previously made that were left over. Um, and you're going to line them up and pin them together. And then you're going to put it right there. And you're going to use your foot pedal and make sure everything stays. You're going to use your presser foot to line up with it and keep it straight. <laughs> and you're going to want to stitch. And you're going to want to back stitch to make sure that it stays. And then you're going to stitch forward again. And then you'll often get to spots like right here that have um, like two pieces of material already put together. And you're going to want to lay those flat and stitch over them flat. And you're also going to want to back stitch over these to keep them um, from coming apart. And then you're just going to stitch the whole way down. And then once you get to the end, you're gonna wanna batch stitch over that again to make sure that it stays together. And then you have a piece of fabric sewn together on the four sides. <laughs> and then you have a block. Thank you. Thank you for listening and learning how to sew.